All right, guys, this is Jernigam here. I hope you're all doing well and fantastic and well, as you guys and girls can see. That's my fan over there, which is keeping things cool. And that's my PS4 games collection. There's probably people got more. I've got a lot more than that. And I've got a fan at the top there with a spinny. The reasons why I've got the fan on is to keep me cool, especially in the summer. In the winter, it's much colder, so you have the, have the uh, radiators on. See? It dries your clothes and that. Anyway. There's too many things happening in the UK recently. What I mean by that is people are getting killed and murdered for no reason and targeted for no reason. And people, some people kill people for money in the world. I don't mean like killing terrorists or killing the Taliban. I'm talking about people, there's some silly people out there who actually pay people to do silly things. And uh, we're still living in a silly world, as most people would say. The England what I used to know and used to live in is not England anymore. I'll tell you why. Coronavirus. Okay, so this is my thumb here, as we all know what a thumb is. Brexit happened, and then the floods happened. So all them three things happened in the UK. The UK wanted its own independence of Brexit, so we got it eventually. Theresa May got kicked out the Prime Minister. Then we've got Boris Johnson, which is originally from New York. His family were, but he's our British Prime Minister. He sounds from London anyway, as we all know. Um, then we had uh, um, Donald Trump visiting the UK. He knows who the Queen is, and uh, Donald Trump's been to our country loads of times in the UK, and he says he likes it. And uh, Boris Johnson has been to America loads of times, so has Theresa May. I'm talking about people what used to be the Prime Minister and things. Um, and uh, it's been a crazy year for a lot of people in a couple of years. Will this coronavirus go in the winter? Will it um, get worse for a lot of people? What I mean by worse is, will it keep spreading? Some parts of the world have already got out, to, uh, you know, got over the worst of the worst. Some places got having second outbreaks, but uh, who knows? Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. That's what I say. Um, what else can I talk about on this phone? Sometimes, you know, because we're wearing these gloves and these masks, and then they... It's not England anymore. The England that I used to know, that's what's annoying me and annoyed a lot of people. They should feel grateful and come from their own country and being proud to be American, proud to be British. It's not our country anymore. Not because of the legal elements coming over, because everyone wants a chance to live in a nice world. I just don't know. That's why some people wish they could go back in time to get away from the coronavirus, get away from everything else, and bring back our old country back how it used to be. But that's never going to happen. And that probably upsets a lot of people, especially me. Yeah. Will this permanently stay damaged? I mean, they didn't cure cancer, obviously. They had a vaccine for that, and people are still dying. You know, there's loads of people still dying of cancer. There's no cure. Will they eventually come out with a cure? I mean, I could have died of cancer, but I survived. I'm a fighter. And I suppose some ways I'm a warrior as well. And people would say to me, Jurgen, you're not a warrior. Well, I think I am, because... I've had to fight quite a lot in my life, as most people struggle and seen the, seen the hard and the rough and the, and the easy. But uh, well, I'm just trying to get you here now. Um, where is it? This world gonna go? <laughs> I'm sorry, guys and girls. I'm just in deep thought, thinking of things in my brain as well. And some people say I may think about the past. Sometimes some people are damaged about the past. And people say move into the future and start planning. Sometimes it's hard to plan things for people. We all like to do our own things our own way. It's good right to make suge suggestions to people and help them out what they want to do. But I don't know. Some people just wish things were back to normal. I can totally understand that. But the coronavirus is still spreading. Some people would have thought oh, after three months of the UK, it would have gone. 
but we're still in the way they are. The re the re they've relaxed the restriction rules of lockdown. Most things are open, even though it still feels like we're on lockdown. It still feels like we're social distancing, whether it be one meter to two meter. Who knows? It's itching my head thinking about things, what else I can actually say in this video. What can one do and what can one say? I'd say probably many things, but uh, think of all these uh, famous people that wanted to sing songs to people, but now they can't because of coronavirus. They closed most of the concerts as well, but people enjoy to see the music. And uh, film production has probably slowed down as well, as well now. For example, some of our favourite soaps, which I mean by soaps, I don't mean a bar of soap you wash your hands with, wash your hands with or face with. I mean soaps like people like comedies and things people like to laugh and enjoy. Because it's always good to watch a good film that you can actually laugh and enjoy and watch with everybody else, especially with the family and friends. But there's some people in the world that don't know how to act, don't know how to do videos. But it's not their fault, I'm not judging everybody. We all do our things in our own way. It's not their fault they have a certain way of doing things. I mean you do what you got to do to survive in this world and you build things up in this world to make things easier or over time you just keep building and building I don't know are we heading for World War 3? there's something coming on the horizon some people may say oh you're crazy World War 3 is not happen well why is the wars happening in other countries because there's no money there's no food you know, the England's quite small to compare to most countries, so we're going to have a lot of problems here we have been doing. But anyway, thank you for joining this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. And me talking in a way and rabbiting on about general, you know, talking about things. Anyway, see you in the next one, guys. And guys, peace. I will be back again.